Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. Um, if you are new, my name is Lucy. Welcome. I um, put out loads of different videos. You never know what you're going to get with me. Um, will it be a mukbang? Will it be ASMR done badly? Will it be a makeup review? Will it be my opinions? We just don't know. Um, <laughs> hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram as well because my next giveaway is going to be on Instagram, I've decided. Um, so you need to be following me with the chance of winning um, and the prizes are quite good. So I am currently in the middle of doing a wear test on the Lasting Perfection um, foundation from Collection. So be sure to check that out, see how I get on. But for now, we are going to have a play with the Alien palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Um, if you live in the UK, you can get it from Beauty Bay. Um, and if you live in America, you can get it from Jeffree Star Cosmetics and some other ones. I do believe Morphe stores are now getting it. Um, so let's just do a quick little info. Um, the palette, how much was it? So the Alien palette is um, £46 and it's currently out of stock but Jeffree Star always does loads and loads of restocks so hopefully you should get, be able to get one soon if you're interested. Um, this palette spoke to me because not only is it Jeffree Star Cosmetics and all of his eyeshadows are amazing quality um, but the colour story really spoke out to me. Um, it's nice and refreshing to have like a cool toned style palette. Um, a lot of palettes nowadays are coming out with like loads of warm neutral tones, like everyday looks. Um, but this one was a little bit different, which was quite exciting. As you can see, I have used it a little bit. Um, some people have said that, um, it's a little bit difficult to store because of the size. I mean, it's bigger than my head and the eyes are 3D. My um, argument to that is, why the hell would you want to put this in a drawer? Why? Just look at it. It's stunning. This stays out on my vanity all of the time. I don't understand why anybody would want to put it in a drawer. If you're not using it, have it in your backdrop. It's amazing looking. Um, anyways, so <laughs> I have done a couple of looks with this, um, sort of playing around with it because I wanted to obviously give it a fair shot. Um, and But I forgot to take pictures to put them on my Instagram. So I do apologize, guys. But as you can see, I have used it quite a, a little bit. Um, I will say Pluto up here makes a gorgeous, gorgeous highlighter colour um, and the rest are just fan dabby dozy. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So what I can tell you so far is this colour probe down here is stunning. I'll just get that up to the camera. However, if you want to sort of keep that green sheen, you need to like wet your brush or um put some fix plus or fix gel or whatever or maybe just apply it with your finger because um as soon as you start to blend it out um i'll just show you now as soon as you start to blend it out the sort of greenness goes away so um if you want to keep that sort of like sort of green tinge if you can see when I turn my arm it, it goes in the light but if you want to keep it like as vibrant as when you sort of like swatch it I've just literally like patted that and it's come back again but you need to like I say just go a little bit careful with it that's the only sort of critique that I have well it's not a critique it's just telling you um, and I will swatch that Pluto colour for you now when I can clean my finger. Which is gorgeous and it needs to be a 
the nice very pan of highlighter and you see that just needs to be a big pan of that so I can just use that all the time so let's jump into it I've used the um the gold in here is brilliant the green is brilliant everything is all good um you have if you're one of those people that likes to set your um your eye base and your sort of you know looking for something that's perfect this color up here is amazing for that um gravity is great for sort of transition shading so yeah but today i'm going to use phone home which is this one here now guys i know i do makeup and things on here but i just wanted to say on record i'm not an expert i am literally just your bog standard person um i'm a mother so sometimes i don't even wear makeup every day because molly is obviously more important but she's at nursery today so mummy gets to play with her makeup so we're going to use the phone home just going to take my blending brush they are hella hella pigmented so um if you are sort of nervous about using really really pigment eyeshadow um, pigmented eyeshadows tap it off give it a quick blow before you um use it and um you can always add you can never take away or well, you can take away with a makeup wipe or makeup remover Now, with these shadows, there is a little bit of kickback when you tap into them, um, particularly mattes, but that is sort of like bog standard across the board now. A lot of eyeshadows now tend to be like pressed pigment, um, which is a little bit different to like eyeshadow. I don't think there's as many like ingredients in pressed pigment. It is literally the pigment pressed. Whereas eyeshadow, like the shimmers and things, they have to put like a little bit more stuff into it. So, yeah. So that colour is stunning. That is also a really good like transition, set the scene. I'm going to go a bit grungy today sort of look. Uh, just going to... I need a wet wipe out when I say wet wipe these are the cleansing facial wipes from Superdrug happy new year everyone I've just given you a really shit video oh, my mum decided to tell me that she also watches my videos and she was horrified when she saw how many palettes I owned she was like I thought you were never gonna stop thought you were never gonna stop and then I went up and I gave her like I gave her a candle and um some other bits and pieces for Christmas and she was like I thought I thought you'd get me some makeup I thought you'd get me some and I was like no right then um I'm gonna go in with the color flying saucer because I haven't touched that yet and I'm just going to use one of these brushes it's like a pencil brush but like a little bit bigger I am gutted though because the flight I don't want to like break that flying saucer I'm just going to put that on my outer crease outer crease outer corner of my eye I said to my mum, why on earth do you watch my videos? And she was like, that's the only time I get to see you, Lucy. And then I felt really shit. I'm like the world's shittest daughter. If you don't know, my mum lives like 60 miles away from me. So um, I don't like get to see her an awful lot. I don't ring her as much as I should. 
I am a shit daughter. Right, now I've just packed that on my eye. I'm just going to um, get rid of the fallout that has happened. And then we're gonna just blend, blend those two colors, so. Just gonna take some more of that phone home and just blend it in. I love how I talk like I know what I'm talking about, but the truth is I, I just, I really don't. Right, then I'm going to go in with um, Abduction, which is this lime green colour. I might have to... Wet the brush for this one, I'm not sure yet. It looks a total mess at the moment, but trust the process. Cool. The amount of like times I've taken eyeshadow looks off because I've got to this point and it looks a complete mess and I'm like, nope, that's not going to work. back in with that flying saucer and just darken that up a little bit but as you can see the shadows are pigmented even the ones that you have to sort of like build up a tiny bit the pigment is there it's just like I don't know like there's no Right, that is done. Then I'm just gonna take my blending brush and just blend everything together. Brilliant. And then, if I can find one, I'm going to take one of my sponges. Oh, not that one though, because I've just broken it. Let's find another one. Can we find another one? Yep. And then I'm going to go in with area 51 now area 51 has got um red dyes in it so apparently it's not safe for it's not it's not safe it can stain your lids so that is just something to um think about and then i'm going to take that and just go um like under my eye to line it with line my eye with Holy smokes, that is pigmented. Can you remember the purple that's very similar in the um, Jacqueline Hill, Jacqueline Hill, in the Jacqueline Hill vault? And I had to really 
like build that purple up this purple however no issues that's the pigment is there And then just to finish it off, um, I'm going to use the um, Pluto just to put in the in the corner. Um, just like blend that out. Right guys, I'm just going to go and do some eyeliner um, and then I will finish the rest of my face off and be right back. So guys, this is the finished look. As you can see, I've just done a little bit of a wing on the outside, um, some ice cold Jeffrey highlighter all over my face. A um, little bit of contouring and then I've put some Jeffree Star Blow Pony on my lips. I am living for this colour. I am living for it. Um, so once again, another big thumbs up from me, Jeffree. Again, outstanding quality eyeshadows, but we wouldn't expect anything less. I have heard that he's coming out with some concealers and some setting powders um in the new year so i am really excited for that um but yeah if you want to see any more looks with the alien palette then definitely give me um a thumbs up or um comment down below um let me know if you've got this palette and what your thoughts are of it um but i would say um overall good value for money i know it's sort of on the higher end of makeup when it comes to like pricing but you need this palette in your life and don't just put it in a in a drawer have it out so that people can see you're an alien lover too just like me um follow me down on instagram the link is down below um and twitter I don't bombard you with loads and loads of posts um, but it would be nice to be able to talk to some of you guys um, and see what you guys are up to. Um, as ever I will see you soon for another video. Bye guys!